zip them off, got a smooth bottom again. Seriously, wear safety glasses. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and today we're talking about a grinder. So I was unloading the kiln yesterday and I had a couple pieces that I uh, went a little overboard with glazing. So I decided that instead of just throwing the pieces out, I'd grind the bottoms off. So I'm gonna show you how. I'll do another video about unloading the kiln. So tune in for that later. All right, let's get into it. Oh, we got a big drip. We got a big green drip right on the kiln shelf. So I'm gonna talk about how to save this mug, how to grind that piece off right there and make it a sellable mug because this mug, it's, it's great. It's just got a little drip on there. See that little drip right there? That little drip. The glaze was too thick or I put too much glaze on the top. What are you gonna do? You're gonna save the mug, that's what you're gonna do. We got our bottom of our mugs, we got a little drip down there and we just wanna make sure that we get that thing perfectly smooth. What we do, we have this fancy grinder and if you're a potter, and you don't have one of these grinders, I would suggest getting one because I have gotten so much use out of this thing and it's Home Depot's brand and it was seriously like 30 bucks or something. And I could sell one of these mugs for $25 and if I didn't have this thing, I wouldn't be able to sell it. So I would suggest getting a grinder, bench grinder like this. Always wear safety glasses when using this grinder. Just always remember to put on those safety glasses because sometimes you do get flying shards of clay and glass. Safety first, wear safety glasses. So I will now put on my safety glasses. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this thing on. So it spins. And then we're just gonna take our edge. And just grind that piece off right there. Here we go, and that's about, so I could keep going if I wanted, but if you can see there, basically it's just right kind of in line with the rest of the foot. And I think the look that you get when you get cool drips and like heavy glazes is totally worth a little grinding off at the bottom there. Maybe it would look cool with the lights off, but turns out it's just dangerous. And now I don't know how I'm gonna turn the lights back on. I might be stuck down here forever. Oh, I found my cell phone, thank goodness. Whew. That was lucky. Yeah, those grinders are super useful, not just for if things are falling to the bottom and off, but also for just sometimes you get little pieces of glaze or pieces of kiln shelf stuck to the bottom. And it's super easy to just flip that grinder on and just beep. Zip them off, got a smooth bottom again, and you can sell the mug just as new. So definitely recommend buying a grinder if you have not, or if you never used one. It may seem a little intimidating for people, but just always remember, safety first, test it out. Don't just like go and just throw your hand in there. I've scraped skin off my fingers a couple times, so make sure you know what you're doing. Wear those safety glasses. Wear safety glasses. Wear safety glasses. Hey, thanks for watching this video about how to use a grinder and how important and useful it is if you're a potter for many, many reasons. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like this video, comment below, and uh, hit that bell button to be notified. We'll see you in the next video. We're gonna hit the trails and go bike. Let's do it.